Hello, this is Eric Suger. He's from Switzerland. He's coming from the mountains. And I'm very glad to have him as a partner. Paco Savio from Argentina, creative director of Balboa. Um, we met uh, three years ago, more or less. Uh, he is the one helping me to break the rules. <laughs> Eric uh, he used to be a banker, but uh, he get worried about this and he don't like it and he suffer. So he got and he's very creative and he really uh, he realized that he wants to do something different and he wants to like uh, break some rules. No, he's a very positive thinking person. Every time you get confronted with a problem, then uh, you see uh, another problem, you see a chance. In Switzerland, like everyone, everything is like schublade, everything is into the order, and everything is inside the box, everything should be safe. And we forget about all these and we, we try to develop something different. It's not only a gym that we realize that we want to build a brand and we want to build like a, like a, a movement and people like a, like a believe in something different. Well, we want to create a gym people really like to go. So the motivation is not the six pack. The motivation should be something else. It should be a place where you can be yourself. There's a lot of restrictions in corporate life. People want to break out and we want to give people a place to break out. We are somehow recognized and people don't just see uh, a, a letter, um, it, they see something behind it, it's, and it, they see something urban and, and something they, it attracts them. And so we really on track there, but uh, this is now Zurich. And um, the vision is, of course, more than Zurich, it's, uh, it's a global vision, actually. <laughs> I think it's good to have a vision that you cannot reach, maybe, but um, you know exactly where to go. We move here less than half a year. And then we've got this challenge to conquer the viaduct and it was a big competition and we heard there was a lot of people in the city interested in doing something in the viaduct and also it was like a late because we received a new one Wednesday and we need to put the, all the formula and like a, make a presentation of what we want to do before Sunday night and it was like a running but we did it and and we, and we get it. No, and it's it's all also like about like conquering. It's not about sports only. It's about you. You let something out. Right? It's very personal, and, and I think this is somehow lowering barriers and, and something you give something of yourself to the place. And this is this is uh, this is what makes the spirit of the place. And that's what we are. There's a lot, a lot of respect because well I respect his point of view and I and he respect mine and so of course sometimes we don't think the same. Sometimes I want to have a quick fix, a quick solution for something and then of oh, well, this problem and then he makes a problem like this and then get annoyed because I wanted to actually have it away and then it takes one day, uh, he makes me think and then I see, ah, okay, this is good to break it up and to make it bigger and then to, to start solving the bigger problem. So sometimes it's the opposite because I'm very practical, I'm productive and I go and make it happen in a way also. And it's like, so it's like a, sometimes we, we, I play also his role in myself and he play my role in himself, so it's funny. I'm the Swiss, but I'm always late. He is the Latin, and he's always on time. Uh, I'm the Swiss and should be organized, and uh, I'm not. And he is the Latin, the Argentinian, and is supposed not to be organized, but he is. So <laughs> that's uh, I think uh, we have like a little bit of DNA of each other's culture anyway. Um, try this out. I mean, feel the spirit if you are close to here. Um, uh, it's uh, the best thing is there is no explanation. Maybe the video is uh, is very good, but uh, even better is to be here and experience.